to the absolute madness that is happening here. Are you ready to give the results? Yeah, let's give those results. We do have a unanimous judge's decision. The winner of that match was Beetlejuice. <laughs> they will be moving on to the semifinals. This is the best showing Beetlejuice has had. Kevin and his team is, are doing phenomenally at this event. Uh, they are going to have to go on to face Chubby Unicorn in the next round. Chubby and Unicorn. that Still is going to be a vicious fight. Yep. Tough challenge for Beetlejuice in that round. We'll see how that goes, but wow, that's going to be tough. I agree completely. Uh, getting down to the wire here. So this is... A, our last quarterfinal fight, Caldera versus Voxel. We've got Voxel in the blue corner. These are just two classic NHRL competitors. We see them at so many tournaments. Voxel, the big wide drum spinner. Caldera, vicious horizontal spinner. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Fight, robots off. fight. Voxel's a tough matchup for a bot like Caldera. Their weapon shape just gives them so many opportunities to knock Caldera into the air. <clears throat> Not to I love say how Caldera can't win. Fast Voxel is. Moving and shaking. Ooh. Wow, beautiful Definitely hit. trying to show them who's boss. Remember, the winner here qualifies for what's going down in November. So the pressure is certainly on. Uh-oh, the sounds. Voxel so easily able to turn itself back upright to the upright position. Yeah, the gyroscopic forces off of that weapon can manipulate it almost anywhere in the, in the arena. Under two minutes here. And I don't hear weapons. Ooh, nice hit there. Wow, the silence. Yeah, it's deafening. You can see the weapon still spinning on Caldera, but Voxel's drum doesn't seem to be spinning at all. And now Caldera pinned in the corner, Voxel getting that really nice pin. Voxel just sitting comfortable. This is Voxel version one. We got a countdown here. Oh. This really is the fight of the dads. <laughs> Just under a minute left. Plenty of time to see what's really going to go down. The silence, it kills me. Voxel trying to get the pin up in the corner. Nice pin there. Minibot getting in on the action. Are they able to get out? Yes, now he's pinning both the Minibot and Caldera up against the wall. Nice job from Voxel. Yet another pin from Voxel. This is all Mr. Shore can do is just keep getting these pins, pins after pins after pins. You're right, though. It's, it's an appropriate tactic at this point in all the night. All he's got left to him. It's like the least amount of damage you could do. And if you can do it, if you can manage control with a pin, go for it. Five seconds left. All right. Wow. So this will go to the judges. The winner of this match will go on to qualify for the November finals. Whew, that was a tough one. And the winner has to go on to face Clyde in the next round. Okay, so the judges are calling for a weapons test for both bots. So if the bots are able to spin up their weapons, that could have a direct impact on the judges' scores. I gotta say, I didn't hear Voxel's weapon spin up for a large portion of that fight. Caldera's might still, yep, there it is. Vo Caldera's weapon's still operational. 
Voxel, not so much. Oh, no. Is it? Nope, nope. They're driving. They got the drive. They got the pins. They got most of their wedge. Look at cage two. It has seen better days. Yeah, it's a rough place to be. The seams have really opened up between those two sheets of plywood. Tons of wood missing, tons of paint missing. Very splinter heavy. All right, so we will have to wait to see what the judges have to say about that match, but the winner of that match will go on to face Clyde in the semifinals. All right, so who do we have so far in the semifinals right now? So it's far, we have Clyde, down. we have Chubby Unicorn, and we have Beetlejuice. They have all qualified for the November finals. We are waiting to see who the fourth qualifier for the November finals is and who our semifinal matches are going to be against. All right, all right, all right. So they... Let's see a little replay action of the match that just was. So you have the Elder Boxel and the Elder Shore fighting here. Both of their son's competitors with different robots. Yeah, and they really were going at it for a while before we saw the pinning. The pitting happened towards the end, which again, we've said time and time again, it's a good way to handle these matchups later on in the night. Absolutely. When your bot is tired, your bot is on its last leg, and you don't want to risk it for the biscuit anymore. Voxel and is doing just a phenomenal job getting those control points. It's hard to be a control bot when you are as vicious and uh, attack-oriented as Voxel, but that drive system is yeah. slightly better, I think, than Eruptions. Even though the uh, Caldera, sorry, uh, even though Caldera's weapon was still functioning at the end there, I feel like a lot of that control and aggression points are going to go to Voxel in that fight. We'll see how that all You've works out. You've been right so far, so I'm not going to argue with you here. I, you know... Are I, you a judge? No. Secretly? Never. You're never, not telling us? No, I've never wanted to be a judge. I had to judge at one event. It was scary. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't like doing it. Too much pressure? Too much pressure. I've always wanted to be Simon Cowell. Really? Yeah, I think I could do it. I, I don't think I... It, he likes being mean, though. No, you're right. You're right. All jokes I, I aside, do it. I actually don't think I could do it. I yeah. don't think I'd be good at it. <laughs> I would. I just want to see everyone do well. It'd be tough to see. It's tough. We definitely have some action going on over here. So you can hear the engine. Yeah, you wanna like everybody's trying to get their extra fights in right now, right? right? Now that we're kind of waiting, everybody gets 20 minutes between matchups, so uh, there's a little bit of downtime. So we get some of these bigger bots testing their their skills against each other. Um, it looks like these are two of the big, yeah, there we go, two of the big horizontal or vertical spinners from the 12-pound division fighting each other, blue cheese. And I, that is one of the, uh, the, the, ch the big chunky bars. And everybody's Can't dead. tell. Okay. Yeah, everybody's down. That's fine. Well, oh, look <laughs> at your energy drink is in full swing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Shot there. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We have some things on the desk. Yeah, we it's getting yeah, towards the end of the night. Listen, we're almost to tomorrow. It's, we're a, it's like to 11 tomorrow. minutes till tomorrow right now. Oh, okay. It sounds like we're going to have a special jet, a guest that's going to join us on set. Who, who do we have coming? Whoever could it be? Oh. Oh, that's... Listen, um, I apologize to our audience. Um... So, um, yeah, grab yeah, that, go grab that. It. Can you put it over the, the helmet there? I'm not sure how that's going to work. Hi, Clyde. Wow. Hi. Uh, Hannah, you haven't met this person yet. I'm sorry. Uh, Hannah, this is Clyde. Okay. Clyde Magnuson. Oh, how he's, do you do? Uh, he's a sometimes competitor here, and uh, I believe you still live here? Is that accurate? I, I live in the bus uh, yeah. next to the building. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but uh, I am not just a competitor here anymore, Kyle. Uh, I don't know if you know this, I am now a full-time employee of NHRL. Are you? Really? You get a paycheck? No. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Oh. Uh, listen, before we move on, Clyde, I have to say this. We have a unanimous judge's decision for Voxel. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so they are going to be moving on to the semifinals. They will great be job, facing Basel. Clyde in the next round, and they have a chance at winning the Golden Dumpster, assuming they get their weapon up to speed. But speaking of Clyde's, so you work for us now, and you have some Ethernet cable uh, on your Why? person. They, they put me in charge of uh, IT. 
Oh, <laughs> interesting. I've been, I've been doing what they call network infrastructure. Sure, okay. yeah. And how's the infrastructure structuring? Oh, it was great. Uh, Saz and I were uh, digging up a hole outside this morning. Oh. Uh, hit some cables. So you took them with you? It was good they were there, because uh, right underneath there was a natural gas line that could have gotten real dicey. Hannah, I'm going to go ahead and say, do you remember 45 minutes ago when you asked me to send you an email? Yes. And you only got it 10 minutes ago? Correct. That First. might have something to do with his new job. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, uh, I get it now. I get it now. I might have embellished my resume uh, a little bit. Uh -huh, a little bit. Uh -huh. I, uh, well, I, I told Austin. Honesty is the first step. I yeah. told Austin I graduated from Georgia State, but what I what I what I meant was that I I did I did four years at Georgia State Penitentiary. <laughs> All right. So a member of our team got moved up to the pits today. So, and she's been dealing with all of the complaints from our competitors, many of them having to do with the Wi-Fi system here and the IT issues. Let's go up to Lindsay. Lindsay, what do you have to say to Clyde? Because you've had to field so many complaints about his alleged work. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> how, how do you feel about that, Lindsay? Listen. Uh, what what do you have to say for yourself? What credentials did you say that you had to get into this position? Because clearly, uh, I think you maybe uh, embellished the truth a bit. I, I, I said that I knew IT. I've done a lot of uh, interstate travel. <laughs> Interstate travel. I'm really good at untangling wires. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know what? I couldn't even tell you how much copper pipe was in this building, but it ain't here anymore. I think you should give the people a side view of your stash. It's very interesting. Don't look too close. No, no, I think you should look very closely. Don't do it. Like, go it's like this. Not a great idea. Give them, give them a side It's profile. got a mind of its own. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't get too close. <laughs> Well, Clyde, it's also my suit catcher. Yeah, Clyde, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad you got a job. I'm sorry you're not getting paid, but maybe you're getting what you're worth. It's an internship. <laughs> it's an internship. Sounds like an internship to me. Yeah. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You Thank said, you. I'm glad you got a job. I'm sorry you're not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he's getting what he's worth. I mean... Oh. Hey, I, hey, this You're is South Norwalk. So you, think, you think you could just sleep in a bus for free? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it does cost a lot of money to sleep in a bus around here. I mean, I you're do, not wrong. I know there's a lot of dumpsters around here, though. I, I mean, I, I call them little grocery, grocery getters. <laughs> there's a lot of gold in dumpsters around the building, I hear. It's not real gold. No, it's not real gold. Clyde, I've been seeing you on TV a lot lately. Yeah, I went out. Uh, I went out to that show, uh, Battle Box. Did you? Battle Box, Don after uh, Wicked Tuna. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was interesting. A lot of people that watched just Battle Box were very confused about your presence, but all the NHRL fans, they were very happy to see you there. Have you ever watched Ice Road Truckers? I have never seen the show. Is it good? It's, a, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. They're driving trucks on ice. Wow. Have you ever driven a truck on ice? <laughs> I, I got arrested in 94 for doing that. <laughs> in 94. <laughs> Thank you well, so much for so joining us. So are you us going to return slide. the cables? What's your what's your plan of action here? Saz and I, we're going to get back out there. We're going to try to stuff some of them back into the ground before Austin wakes up tomorrow and maybe he doesn't know us. I don't know. Oh, I think that's a good plan. <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm glad Saslow's getting a little bit of help with the infrastructure around here. And thank you so much for all of your contributions for this particular event. We're going to say goodbye to We'd you now, lost Clyde. Without you, we got to go to a grudge match. But thank you so much for joining us here at the desk. And I'm glad you're doing well on your bus. Oh, uh, yeah. By the way, sorry, Kyle. Your, uh, the Cadillac converter fell out of your car uh, out the parking lot. But uh, I'll, I'll get on that tomorrow. I appreciate that. Thank you Thanks, so much, friends. sir. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> bye. It was great. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys. Let's Clyde Magnuson, everybody. Thank you so much, Clyde. <laughs> Uh, Bye, friend. There are some characters around here. I will tell you what, Hannah. Characters. We love them.
All right, so here we have two bots. Is that Chainsaw Kitty? Who do we have up here? I recognize Chainsaw Kitty. I don't know who the white bot is. There's several options. White bots with gold beater bars is kind of a thing that we see a lot of around here. Right. It does look Doesn't like seem to be much happening here. No, the drive Ooh. side, left drive side on Keziah's bot, Chainsaw Kitty is, is having a little bit of issues, but still able to deal out massive damage with that weapon. Oh, wow, count out is happening. And now the count out stops. And it's restarted again. You know, Kezai, if you just stop hitting them, you'll win. So true. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Oh, oh no, yes. Chainsaw Kitty doesn't want to win. She wants to cause damage and destruction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is comical. This could have ended, uh, what, 30 seconds, 40 seconds ago? I think a, I think a whole minute. Ouch, that was a vicious hit there. There's belts and debris all over the floor. And somehow life is run back into this bot after enough hits from Keziah and Chainsaw Kitty. There we go. coming down to the last few seconds of this matchup. All right, so if there were judges for grudge matches, this would go to the judges, but there are no judges, so it's up to us. Hannah, who won that fight? Uh, it's tough. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree. Uh, Chainsaw Kitty won that fight probably like five times. I think seven times. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think seven times. I'm going to take a sip of my water now. It's allowed. I'm so sorry. Hydration is okay. We don't shame people for hydrating around here. Yes. You drink that energy drink. Hi, Mark Demers. Mark. Oh, he's not there. All right. So out in our... Oh. All right. So we have, uh, we have a few really excited people left in our crowd. We do. This kind of reminds me of uh, when you, just like if you do any activity in life, like any social event, there's always a crew that hangs back afterwards and they're the most fun. Like you have the most fun with them, you know? Agreed. You get to know each other on like another level. I feel like we're at that level with each other, right? Agreed. I love it. And they're all having a blast out here. All right. So I saw on our screen for just a second, our friend Lindsay. Yeah, Lindsay, what's going on? Someone else. Still having some fun upstairs in the pit. What's going on, friend? Nowhere else I would rather be uh, than here with you sharing some super chat. Yay. What, is our, what does our chat have to say? They're still coming in. Um, all right. So I hope Clyde is no longer in the building because there are actually a few about him, and I don't think his ego could take uh, any more. Um, but this is from Chad New. Uh, he says, been waiting all day for this guy. It's about time. So uh, put one person and in the <laughs> Clyde <laughs> fan club there. <laughs> um, and then we actually have a, another one, believe it or not. The people out there seem to like this Clyde figure. All right. Um, 
This is from Eel Monkey Art. More Clyde. More Hashtag Clyde. Yeah. NHRL silly. Yep. Agreed. Keep, keep it, it silly. Keep it silly around here. Get silly. Uh, just don't put Clyde in charge of IT ever again. No, that's uh, one and done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We learned our lesson. <laughs> uh, all right. So now we have another one here. This is from Joshua Kub Kubayek. Um, have the hosts play the claw game. It's rigged. I have to say, the claw game is free, so I don't think you can have a free game that's rigged. No, but I do know that the claw game is set to its weakest setting. You can actually set the claw games to where the claws are, are like, there's four different settings, I think, on the claws. And this one is set to its weakest setting. So. What? Okay. And it's still hard? Yeah, well, the weakest setting means that it, it has less grabby power. Oh. So that is the hardest. Grabby power. Yeah. That's another dictionary term. The, what else would you call yeah. the claw game's if power to grab things? If you look up claw things? in the dictionary, it actually says uh, it's judged based off of its grabby power. It has less claw ability. The claw. That's all I think about. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be one of those guys right now, just sitting in there. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm so sorry. Please go watch Toy Story. Oh, yeah. Go watch Toy Story, please. Um, all right. So we have one here from Bart Tom. First time watching the stream live. This has been awesome. Aww, What's thanks, up, Bart? Bart? Thanks, my man. <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us, Bart. And I uh, hope that this is, uh, even if it's your first, not your last. Please don't let it be your last. Yeah, we'll be back in May. It's like no time. We'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we have one more. It's also uh, pretty wholesome. It's from James Ragsdale. Thanks for a day of fun. Aww. We do what we can, James. We try. James, we didn't just provide you a day of fun. We were providing you a whole night of fun, too. So you're welcome. <laughs> Oh, by the way, a whole two days of fun. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> what time is it? It's 12.02. It's oh, now tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We are now so, well you know into what? tomorrow. You're welcome. Okay? <laughs> we do what we can. We gave you two whole days of fun. We love it. We love it. And you know what? We will do anything except for put Clyde in charge of IT again, but maybe we'll make him a full-time host. Oh. Kyle. What are you trying to say? No. It's a horrible idea. Would you idea. like me to go? <laughs> no, you leaving. can stay. I'm not going anywhere. You can stay. Maybe we both have to get Sherry. those mustaches, though. Oh, well, I'd love a mustache. <laughs> I've always wanted, I've always been jealous of the fact that I can't grow a mustache. No, really, because men can, like, change their look in a flash. It's true, Women, yeah. we have to, like, go to the salon, get a haircut. It's just, like, it's so much more energy, whereas men can just, like, be lazy and have a different face. You're right. I can just change the shape of my chin anytime I want, pretty much. If I'm like, oh, I would, I would like to change something on my face. It's just, like, not going to happen. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas men can just, like, again, just wake up one day. Oh, my gosh. Can we talk about the beard <laughs> in the audience? <laughs> a fantastic, like, display of facial hair. He says it's 45 minutes to grow that. Shut up. Swear. Oh, guys, for the I'm wax gonna, and I'm style, it takes it. 45 minutes. For you. This is what it looks like, okay? It starts here. It ends here. Yeah. It goes out. And then there's one piece that also goes out here. Yeah. Okay? We got a must. Oh, oh wait, here he is. Here he is. You. No, no, you're on camera move. right don't now. Move. You're on camera you right on now. Camera. Show us the whole. There it is. Your model. Beautiful. Yes. You guys see that? He could change his look. This guy. Sometimes I want to live that this life. This is what our audience That's looks it. like right now. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Bring in the energy. Bring in the fun. Keep an NHRL silly. That's exactly what we need. Listen, if you're not coming here with that energy, I mean, you're still allowed, but, like, come here with that energy. What am I talking about? I'm up here talking about how I, w I wish I could grow a mustache sometimes. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry for anyone. I'm I sorry. can grow a mustache. I will never grow one that cool. Yeah, that's pr that one's uh, it's pretty cool. That's pretty impressive. It's pretty that's impressive. Pretty cool. All right, Let's get so a little replay it. action of the night. They're like, Hannah, please stop talking about your mustache. <laughs> there it is. There's the oh. replay of the night. Beautiful mustache uh, action. He says 45 minutes of styling, waxing to get it to look like oh, that. Oh, 45 minutes of styling. I yeah. thought you meant 45 minutes of growing. Oh, that would be <laughs> impressive. I was like, what? I, okay. A little All bit right. less believable than the 45 minutes believable. of styling. That is less believable. 45 minutes of styling. I mean, welcome to what women have to do. It's a dedication to the craft. It's always a battle, right? I love it. It's a dedication to the craft. Oh, yeah, is what you've we got see the there. long hair too. Yeah, you get it. You get it. All right. Well, we're all in this together, <laughs> I guess. The, there's the glasses. Team, look good, feel good. You gotta, you gotta look good, feel good, <laughs> especially if you're coming out to watch robot fights for 27 hours. You know, like this guy knows how to do it. Yes, especially if you have a whole day and tomorrow of fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love it. All right, so our audience is getting silly. We're getting silly, but we are going to be moving into the semifinals next. We're going to see Chubby Unicorn going up against Beetlejuice. We're going to see Clyde taking on These Voxel names are B1. So good. Chubby Unicorn and Beetlejuice is actually a matchup I'm excited for. If you were to guess right now which one would would dominate, if there was a clear cut winner, in my who mind, do you think? this is Chubby Unicorn's tournament to lose. Honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, they. They've been steadily improving every single event that they've been in. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just a phenomenally well-driven robot. It's sturdy. Okay. Um, the weapon works flawlessly almost every single time. It, 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 from the first time we saw Chubby Unicorn till now, it is just night and day difference. This bot, it, it is their tournament to lose. All right, I actually kind of agree with you. I would like to see, I would like to see Chubby Unicorn uh, take home the dumpster. But that's not to say that we don't have phenomenal competitors at all of, and all the other sides of this bracket. Clyde and Voxel are both vicious competitors. We saw Clyde melt a bot. Yeah, uh, in completely its last melt fight. a bot. Just, just destruction. There's a big fan base here for Clyde at one point. So I know that I have faith that they will return. They'll be here pushing some excitement for that matchup. So I'm definitely excited for that one as and well. This is by far the best showing we've seen from Beetlejuice at any tournament. I mean, they always do well, but now they are already up to the semifinals and throwing out huge destructive hits all day. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to have a tough road to climb with Chubby Unicorn, but I think they can, might be able to pull it off if they get lucky. We're getting down to the wire. Yeah. What are you going to do if you have to say Beetlejuice three times? It happens. We're gonna take a look at a, an instant classic moment. This was Tsunami versus Phenomenon from earlier today. Let's nice. check it out. Here right now, we're gonna look at Tsunami and Phenomenon duking it out. Speaking of Brandon Bennett Young. Yeah, he's an unstoppable force. Just showing uh, up in multiple weight classes today, hanging out. Yeah, he just, he has his way of showing up in one place and then, uh, you know, seemingly across the world, he shows up again, each time with a new robot. <laughs> Phenomenon, a very intimidating robot. It's one of the robots in the 30-pound weight class that um, I sit back and say, you know, I, I wouldn't want that to show up in my kitchen angry as I'm trying to make my scrambled eggs. Is this eggs. like part of the reason you don't build a bot for these events? Because you see stuff like Phenomenon showing up in the 30-pound weight class and you're like, no, thank you. Yeah, it's... I don't want to. <laughs> You know, once upon a time, <laughs> I would show up with 30-pound robots that were you know, built of garbage. Right. And they would always do surprisingly well because uh, I could figure out, well, Eight, the, this has a weakness. Seven, that has a weakness. Six, Those don't exist five, anymore. Yeah. You, you four, have to be a real three, contender two, to keep up here. One. Fight. Robots fight. And away we go. Wow. Nice hit there from Tsunami. Tsunami's got the big wide drum on the front of it, as he was style. We've been seeing Tsunami get progressively better throughout the day. Its first match, it had some mobility issues, but now it is fully mobile and the weapon is up to speed. This is point. Wow, set phenomenon careening back into the glass on that one. Nice that work. That is the point of those white hoops, though. It was able to recover quickly to get back on the of Brandon Bennett Young. He got one little pop up on Tsunami and took full advantage oh, of that coming what a hit. shortly thereafter. Hit after another hit. Is hit. that drive down, Kyle? Yeah, no, this I, is beautiful This is work. bad for Tsunami. This is Brandon Bennett Young at his most aggressive. Tsunami in big trouble over there, not moving after those volley of hits. The weapon's still going, but the Brand bot barely driving. Brandon, practically a surgeon here, going in at exactly the right angle to cause maximum carnage. You got a tiny wheel rolling about the arena. Coming around for another angle. There's all that foam in the way. Chooses not to go through all that. Waits for Flo to get in and move the bot around. Robot is limping on just the uh, thinnest of hairs. Walking that razor's edge between knockout and uh, continuing the fight. Another big hit. 
I can tell Phenomenon is stepping back and they're saying, what do I need to be careful not to hit so as to improve my opponent? You know, what, what parts are jammed up that I don't want to free up by causing more damage? Where do I want to precisely aim? Oh, that might be it, Kyle. Oh, yeah. oh. wow, Beautiful what a turnaround. Phenomenon is going to be able to free itself. It Just is a missing a fork. It looks like one of those top turn plates is bent out of shape. Yes, the drive is suffering on that side. Yeah, both these spots just limping along into this last minute of this fight. Looks like they're in a similar spot. Struggle drive on one side and weapons still fully functional. But we do hear weapons spinning down. That might signal the end of this match. Everybody driving towards the door. Welcome back. We are joined by the third member of our group. to be here? It's good. I, I just uh, took off my Clyde costume, and so I'm, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back at the desk. It, it feels good. Um, I had some funny bits earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to get by. Um, so that last fight that we just saw was Brandon Bennett Young and Phenomenon just performing beautifully against Tsunami earlier in the day today. Brandon had a massive run with that bot throughout the day, making it all the way to the finals and uh, not accomplishing his decided goal for the day of beating Jameson Go and, uh, and Megatron, but qualifying for the November finals, doing a beautiful job, and I think really setting the tone for the rest of the season for them. They might get that win over Jameson at some point. We'll have to see. It's definitely possible. Uh, Brandon has what it takes. It just hasn't yeah. quite come together for him yet. But lined he, up, yeah. He, he's hungry for it. He's so hungry for he it. He wants it. He's one of those guys that you see at every single one of these tournaments just getting better and better every time. You kind of, he, he goes under the radar sometimes because he's so consistent. But this is like a standout performance for him at this event. Just vicious all day long. I am really excited to see what he's able to do with both of those bots. I mean, um, the suplexes that he was getting today with his other bot was just phenomenal. I love those those grappling style of bots, and he's just really mastered it at that weight class. Yeah, and it was smart. He he had a lot of uh, overlap between Fracas and Phenomenon, yep. where he could take parts from Fracas after it was knocked out of the tournament and, and use them in Phenomena to keep going through the tournament. Um, so real smart work by Brandon. Yeah, he's great. Um, excited to see how he does in the rest of this season for sure. But in the meantime tonight, we still have our semifinal round. We're going to see Clyde mm -hmm. versus Voxel. It's going to be a good one. And then we're going to see Chubby Unicorn versus Kevin and Beetlejuice. Clyde was looking pretty melted after its last <laughs> yeah, win. Yeah, it was pretty That seemed like flopping. a tough one to... I wonder what they are up to in this current moment and how they are going to turn this around. Yeah, how do you come back from melt damage, heat damage? Of yourself. Yeah. And, and how many frames does he have available at, at this point in the night? Yeah, it's, it's a tough It's going to be tough. It's a tough one. It's also a matter of uh, just keeping that hustle up. It's, it's, it's been a long day, and, and the yes. builders, I'm sure... Speaking are feeling it. of long days, <laughs> up in the empty pits, all by herself, is our dear friend, Lindsay. Lindsay! Lindsay. How you doing up there? You Where good? Where did everyone go? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't something I did? They're in bed. It's okay. <laughs> um, so, were you all talking about, uh, like, what bots really impressed you today? Oh, yes, yeah, we were. Absolutely. I would like to add to that. I hope that you didn't already mention this one, but I feel like uh, this builder, this bot, has kind of flown under the radar a little bit. Um, and that's Chris Caps and Power Surge 2. Yes. Okay, I can't, 
like when I think about it, it makes me all verklempt. I get emotional because <laughs> Chris used to just be in the chat, right? Watching at home on YouTube. Yep. And he was always like, I want to build. I want to build. I'm going to come to the next one. I'm going to come to the next one. And then he did. And finally, he, he brought, you know, I, th I think he started with a kit bot. And he has worked so hard to customize, you know, what he started with. He's been working tirelessly. I, I talked to him a whole bunch in the pits um, about, like, upgrading his bot, making so many changes. And he did so well today. And he was, like, he was just so revved up and proud of himself. And I feel like that story is what encapsulates what I love so much about Havoc is, like, you can go from, you know, not having a lot of experience he said this is something he's wanted to do since he was nine, but didn't really have, Aww. like, the avenue to do it. And through Havoc, he was able to achieve his dream. He's getting better and better every time. And I feel like he shows that, like, anyone watching at home who feels like this is something that, that's for them, he demonstrates that you can do it. So yeah. I find it inspirational, and I'm cheering for him all the way. So much passion when you see him in the uh, in the pits and cage side. He's so excited when he gets those wins, those big hits. Nobody's screaming louder than him, even the audience. I uh, love Chris. He's so cool. And that's so cool that you saw him in the chats, Lindsay. Like that that says a lot about the process and the type of people who are are really in the pit now and who are putting their all of their hard work into this process. It's people who just want to have fun and who have been following this from a young age, wanting yeah. to get involved. It's like, it goes to show, I mean, we've said it time and time again, but hey, you can always jump in. You can yeah. always jump in. Yep. And that really is the pathway that we're seeing now. You know, they see us on TikTok, they see us on Instagram, and then eventually they watch the live stream, and then eventually they show up in the chats. They're just <laughs> constantly chatting away. Next thing you know, they're showing up at a live event. They're uh -huh. watching everything. And then it just gets into their bloodstream, and they have to build a And then there are double dumpster... I can't remember. I keep losing the words. What is double it? Double digit dumpster diver. A double digit dumpster diver. We made that up about we have, an hour ago. We don't ago. have a don't double digit yesterday. dumpster winner yet, but I do think Jameson Go is going to end up getting that title by the end of this year. Um, it's very. He's probably like eight now. I'd have to do the math on it. He's he, one. Do you know how many he has? Close. I don't know off the top of my head, but I know he consistently wins. He's yeah. definitely building a new shelf as we speak. He has I hope to. So. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. he, he needs more to space. Go build a shelf. Because he needs it. He needs it. And the guy's really figured it out. Three bots in an event is hard. Mm -hmm. Two bots he can manage. Not only manage, he can win two dumpsters with two bots at the event. Phenomenal work from Jameson Go today. Oh, here we go. Building fast here. This is Clyde up this here. This one looks familiar. All right. So Clyde looking a little less charred than last yeah. time we saw him. He actually looks like in great condition considering Team Clyde in the background. <laughs> we see you, we know. Wow, yeah, he really is fast building here. He knows he's got the time limit. Yeah, that pressure is <laughs> Ben away in the background, I love the it. Clock's probably ticking away right in front of him. You can see it down to the second how much time he has left. Gosh, what is going through your mind in that moment? Like, you are so tired. There's nothing. It's, it's the end of the road, boys to men, and you know that it's all going to come down to this moment, what's going on here. Yeah. And you just have to focus. You have to maintain complete control, which is very difficult to do at an hour like this. Some wild style soldering in there. All right, so Ooh. we're going to go to the tail of the tape on this fight here. So we got Tim Hebert. He's from Derry, New Hampshire. Ariel Smith from Massachusetts. Gotta love it, ranked number four and number two. They both have pretty good records, 22 and nine and 14 and six. Head to head wins, they got one and one against each other. Chubby Unicorn versus Beetlejuice. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. That tie a record of 22 and nine versus a record of 14 and six. Chubby Unicorn, just a dominant performer. Beetlejuice, newer to the competition, but scary powerful. <laughs> the audience still holding down the energy here. I love it. Let's go. There's Air Ariel All and right. Kevin. There we go. Ready to go Page with Beetlejuice. Two. There's Tim Hebert with Eight, Chubby Unicorn in the pink seven, corner. Six, five, Countdown is on. Four, three, two, one. Fight. All Robots right, winner of this fight. match goes to the final. 
Shelby Unicorn coming in to prevent Beetlejuice oh, from getting up to speed. There's a belt on the floor there already. Is. You're right. And the weapon on Beetlejuice does not seem to be working anymore. Chubby Unicorn might have pulled out an early weapon. Oh my gosh. If Beetlejuice is not able oh, to spin uh -oh. up that weapon, this is going to be a is that another really impossible belt? match to win. Wait a minute, are all of the weapons down now? I see a non-looped belt in Chubby Unicorn. Beetlejuice almost just sort of like moving in a back and forth motion to get the weapon to spin. Right, trying to get a little kinetic energy behind it, but yeah, there's no power behind either of these weapons right now. The belts are off. So it is down to a pushing match. And if you're gonna have a pushing match, I would rather have the shape bot that Chubby Unicorn is, but they're both two-wheeled bots at this point. That witch makes all the difference, though. It sure does. If you can get under them, you can lift them up off the ground, have a little bit less contact with the ground, and you can get a little bit more control. You can see with these pins here from Chubby Unicorn. The mini bot coming into play for Beetlejuice. I know. I feel like Chubby Unicorn's like, get out of my way. Oh. <laughs> Countdown. Uh, counting down that pin. Trying to get out of there, but they have no motion. They can't get out. Their wheels are being lifted off the floor just ever so slightly by Chubby Unicorn's wedge. A little over one minute left in this matchup. The wedge just acting as a bit of a ramp for Chubby Unicorn. It's not really preventing their movement anywhere. Yeah. One minute remaining, the referee just called it. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, Let's do that again. Just a good little, little ramp time. Parkour. Core. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're trying to get another pin. Beetlejuice doing a good job deflecting the uh, the pushing attempts. Both bots getting pushed into the corner there. Nice work from Chubby Unicorn. Chubby Unicorn now trying to pin both. There you go. Nice, perfect pin for Chubby Unicorn against Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice trying to wiggle their way out. Chubby Unicorn looks like a little bunny. Look that wiggle butt. <laughs> Never have I heard a deadly combat robot described as a bunny with a wiggle butt before, but all right, here we are in the semifinals. 15 seconds left. <laughs> 10. Countdown. I would count this as a pin for Beetlejuice yeah, at yeah, the end. Yeah, surprising, uh -huh. but they got one in. One pin at the end for them. Nice work. Nice work for both of them. Both of them almost sort of, they kind of have to deal with what they had, and they did a really good job of doing so, yeah, putting up a good fight. You hate to see those weapons go down so early, especially in a semifinal match like that, so this will go to the judges. We'll have to see what they have to say. In my mind, that's going to go to Chubby Unicorn. They got all of those pins, lots of control, but we'll see. Oh, oh there's Clyde there getting are. ready to go. There's Anthony. They just melted his bot. Doesn't look... No. Doesn't look too crispy. Nice no. and fresh frame there. Doesn't look too burnt. Looks no, like a yeah, nice, nice and orange. Delightful Cheeto there. Looking at a replay of what we just saw between Chubby Unicorn and Beetlejuice. Some aggressive hits there in the beginning. Both of their weapons seem to be malfunctioning at a certain degree. And it became a bit of a, bit of a, per a pushing match. Oh. Tough landing. Peace is flying. Celebration still happening. High fives galore. And. All right, so we have a unanimous de decision coming in now for Chubby Unicorn. They wow. will go to the finals. Congratulations to them. The question now is will they be facing off against Voxel or Clyde? Looks like we'll find out pretty soon. So there we go. Voxel looking nice and shiny for their upcoming match. What's going on with that? Yeah, it looks like they've uh, employed the, the... Aluminum foil? Aluminum tape 
method for uh, countering flamethrowers. And it looks like Clyde has done the same thing for themselves. They have to. I mean, that flame is so powerful, and they are mostly made out of very multiple plastic. Let's go to the tail of the tape now. Clyde, captained by Gabriel Brown from Austin, Texas. They are only ranked 55 for this. They are flamethrower bot, and their total ranking is 15 and 8. That was a close ranking to its opponent. Yeah, very close. Eight, seven, six. All right, here five, we go. Four. You three, can still see some of those burn marks. Yeah, it's still one, a little bit charged. Robots fight. The action begins. Three minutes on the clock. Looks like the flamethrower started to go, but might have petered out. Still very effective at corralling Voxel. Ouch. Yeah, Voxel trying to get a volley back, but they just kind of ramp up into those uh, those four guards. Geometry not working in Voxel's advantage at all for this fight so far. That fork style dust pan is so hard to counter. It's just Sam, how glorious are those sounds? <laughs> so great. <laughs> That's what we were talking about that we love. That rattle that you get when yeah. you try to grind away for the forks on Clyde. Oh my gosh, it sounds like it's still getting roasted here in some capacity. Also getting some better connections now on Clyde. Oh, not as good as it gets on the wall. Though. Big hit. It's it's wild the power that Voxel can have on Clyde. Well, yeah, I mean normally Voxel is the wide one in the fight, but it is just getting absolutely owned by Clyde in the dustpan. Nice pin yeah. by Clyde. Really great pin there. A little over one minute, and the pin is strong. We did not see any flame coming out of Clyde, the orange ghost. Voxel punching his way out of some of these pins. Clyde really seems to have the advantage here. One minute remaining in play. Nice, another little pin again from Clyde. Voxel trying to get their way out. There is just nothing Voxel can do, though. I agree, I feel like... Oh, there we go, nice pin from Voxel to Clyde up against the wall. Little bit of something-something going on there. I love the zoomies. 20 seconds remaining. Oh, another pin from Clyde. Wow. 20 seconds remaining. The orange ghost getting them up against the wall. This is going to be the end of this match. This will go to the judges, but Voxel never got a hold of a power pellet for that fight, and Clyde oh, dominated. Team is stoked. Clyde really did dominate all throughout that one. Never got the flamethrower for going, but they never needed it. <laughs> all right. Quite the crowd here. Making it safe, getting their bots ready. And we are awaiting that judge's decision, but I don't see a whole lot of surprises on the horizon. Wow, that's got to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. One of these bots will be moving on to the finals. And one into the third place match. Yes, we do have a third place matchup. Chubby Unicorn awaits the winner of this fight in the finals. Chubby Unicorn, how would you guys like to see Chubby Unicorn and Clyde? I think that might be a lot of fun. Yeah, I really hope if that's the case that Clyde gets that flamethrower going. Yeah, quick replay here on some of these big moments.
All right. Okay. All right, so we can see here, Voxel doing some really nice work. And look at that nice pop up there. Clyde pinning them again and then popped into the air. But once that weapon went down, it was all Clyde. You can see the team behind Clyde celebrating there. It was all Clyde, but the results are in. And we have a split decision. Due to the fact that Clyde's weapon was never working during that match, the winner of that match is Voxel V1. Uh, woo, split split decision. decision there. That is controversial. It's definitely a tough one. And uh, yeah. you got to hand it to the judges. That is not an easy decision. It has a lot to do with what you said, Kyle, is that the weapon wasn't Clyde working. Never worked. It didn't work. It's true. So they, they were able to. Did back they up. need the weapon? No. No. But, <laughs> but does that matter? No. Yeah. So uh, that means we are going to have Chubby Unicorn and Voxel in our final. Uh oh. Clyde will be going on to face Beetlejuice for third place. Um, so we're going to get both of these fights ready for you now. But the competitors have 20 minutes between matches to get prepared. Time is of the essence. And we have uh, we have some feelings in the audience about that. Yeah. Oh, here they are, already back in action there. They know Taking got... Chubby Unicorn apart, getting it ready for the final. Looks like they are merging a couple copies of Chubby Unicorn to be yeah. one functioning Oh, you're copy. right. You have a couple of versions of your bot that you bring to the event, and by the end of the night, it's just whatever's working from both copies or all three copies is all you can get together. It's true. I'm surprised there's people. There's more people in the background. They're just here to watch the show. It's just a bunch of people on. Lindsay's asked to stay and hang out. <laughs> please, please just hang out Lindsay's with me. Lindsay's like, come on. So stay 20, up minutes, here with me. 20 minutes is not very long. 20 minutes no. is not very long. Wow, there seems to be an incredible discussion happening here in the audience about what really went down. Yeah, a lot of feelings about that what? last fight. That is controversial. Team Clyde pictures, photographs still in the air. Will hashtag justice for Clyde be trending on <laughs> NHRL social media after this? I am not so sure. It very well could be. So at NHRL, you need to have an active weapon to, to participate. Correct. And if you need an active weapon to participate, you would assume you need an active weapon to win. Not necessarily, but yes, it does help. But no, if, you're, that's a good point. if your weapon yeah. goes down, that counts as damage. Very much so. And so if you never have the weapon working in the fight, do you're you not go in with damage inherent points. damage? Yeah. You're, not gonna get, you're not gonna get the damage points for sure. You will definitely give those damage points up. So assuming all damage points went to Voxel, yep. then it just it matters the split between control and aggression. That is correct. And it was a split decision, so there must have been some I don't know. Some, some variation on between exactly. the judges and, and how they saw that fight. But it's not absurd. You need yeah, nine points. I, no, you're right. You're you need right. nine points to win it. And uh, yeah, I, that nine points got split very interestingly in that fight. So we'll see. I would have liked to hear the discussion. Be a little fly on the wall in that judge's, judge's room. I am interested to see what those scorecards look like, quite frankly. I'm very interested to see that. This looks like Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, getting ready for their third police matchup. Cleaning Ooh. off the wheels, And you can maybe? see or what they're nope. getting ready for. They're anticipating a working flamethrower. What is that? That's that aluminum tape. Yep. Oh, aluminum tape. Yep, don't put it on your potatoes, but do put it on your <laughs> combat robots. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Nothing works as good as aluminum foil, you know? Or maybe duct tape. Oh, perhaps the combination of both. There you go. That is exactly what the aluminum foil tape is. It's, a, it's kind of a weird combination between aluminum foil and duct tape. Precision is key. So many parts on these bots are plastic. It is really important to cover those up yep. so they don't get supercharged and melty. It wasn't always like this, <laughs> you know? Flamethrowers used to not do anything. <laughs> yeah, now it's a very viable weapon choice. You can have a flamethrower and win plenty of fights. Yeah, by knockout even. Yeah. And a glorious knockout. When you leave your opponent in a puddle of their own melted plastic. <laughs> a puddle of their own filth. 
he is some of the best videos you can see from NHRL fights are from bots that have just completely melted down their opponent mm -hmm. to the point where the wheels are goopy and just trying to spin, but there there's no engagement anymore. It's uh, it's a lovely thing to watch. Goopy yeah, back wheels. in the day, flamethrowers did nothing. Yeah. And it's not like a pr propane or butane technology has advanced that much. Now there's no. Clyde here trying to fix the weapon. Well, they've got to get it. Might be a necessity in order to get a W on the board. So we saw a small spurt of flame at the beginning of their last fight. Yeah, and then it poofed right out. So I wonder if they they went in with an empty tank or oh, or if there was so some other management. internal issue there yeah. that we can't see. Yeah, it could be a couple different things. It smoked as well in a in a strange way. So it did. I could use some of that flamethrower. It's like zero degrees in here. Isn't yeah, it? and uh, <laughs> it's nice to have sleeves Where's as well. Where's that flamethrower? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so speaking of, we're going to go to an instant classic with Here Comes the Boom and uh, everyone's favorite flamethrower, uh, Flaming Fart. This was definitely a... Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Oh, my, Lana. Oh my goodness. That is a very exposed tank of butane or propane or something. I'm pretty sure it's butane, but... How is this so close to us and we can't smell it? You guys, this is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh! He's knocked off his rocker. He's missing a wheel. And he's still blowing fire at nothing. What did Brett do to deserve this? Is that Brett? Yeah, I think okay, so. Good. You can tell by the words on top. But... Wow. Back on its feet. Oh. Oh. Looks like Out of smoke. Some sort of disconnection from the flamethrower. Here comes the boom. We really stay true to its name. And uh, so is Flaming Fart. Yeah, there was potential for a really big boom and seriously flaming farts from that one, but it uh, looks like that can, that gas tank is gonna stay intact. Still have yet to see the rockets go off. Oh yeah, you're right. There's another element here. And it looks like oh, the flamethrower element is, is jammed up in Here Comes the in Boom. In Here Comes the Boom, right. So it's part of the uh, flaming is, in, is stuck in Here Comes the Boom. Minibot trying to do something. So now wow, it's a the... foggy sight. She's completely toasted. Shooting wow. Off the rockets while upside down, still manages to self right afterwards. That reminds me of like the WWE when they show a, the, the signs afterwards when they do well. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what that looked like. It was like a celebratory finish. Uh, the fight oh, is look at the mark. still going on. smell any of it. Yeah. Do you? No, not at all. And most of the time when it's smoking, I can smell a little bit of it. I don't. The negative pressure system is doing its job. Um, it looks like the rocket side of Flaming Fart is still moving. Which minibot was that before I get confused? So Flaming Fart has the rockets and the flamethrower. Yes. Okay. So Flaming Fart is just flaming everything. And here comes a boom. I don't hear the weapon going. Yeah. Flaming Farts having one functional wheel. The other one, you can see it on the left side of the frame there, almost right out of the frame. It did not stay intact. This is actually a really tough one. Yeah, it's like, tough. How do you gauge? We're out of time here, but how do you gauge who wins? Damage for that Damage, one. Yeah, yeah. So damage control. If you think about multi-bots, like bots that right. are comprised of multiple robots. Oh, I love to see that. By the way, what a thrilling matchup. Definitely collected quite the crowd here. Everyone circled up trying to see the details of this matchup. Yeah, absolutely explosive matchup between those two. 
That was a very exposed tank, as you pointed out in that yeah. fight. Super scary. Real How sketchy. did that not ignite, especially with SD's rockets going off? Like, come on. I, I kind of think that's what they were hoping for. Like, that was part of the plan all yeah, along. Yeah, just a little kablooey at the action yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you, either of you catch much of uh, Dutch Ovens fights? Yeah, what a cool bot. Love that concept. You grab onto your opponent, hold them in place so you can continue shooting that flame into their face. Yeah, I kinda, it's nice. I kinda like that idea, and, and I'm not opposed to utilizing it on a bot like Hotshot, perhaps. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think I think it could it could make a difference. Hotshot got its first win today. First win. That's impressive. Yeah. This is also, I believe, uh, in Austin McCord bot got its first win in the modern era of NHRL today. Yeah, I've <laughs> None of them have gotten wins until now. So, yeah, he had bots in the older eras before we went into this kind of tournament format mm -hmm. that have won. But this is the first modern era one. I love Hotshot. It's such a cool bot. <laughs> it really is. I heard a rumor you guys brought it to Motorama. We did, yeah. Um, and it terrified them? They were like, why is this in our building? They just wanted to make sure we didn't intend to run it in no, their arena. No, you just wanted to show it off, right? Yeah, just to show folks that you can, in fact, put a jet engine in a fighting robot. Yeah, just should you put a jet engine in a fighting robot? I mean, did you... Did you see the fight? Uh, yeah, and did I you, still ask the question, should you, just you hear do about that? this? Yeah, you should. You definitely should. And then you should also add the Dutch oven hoop yeah. so it can self-write and capture its opponent. And melt them. I love it. Them, okay, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, saw, I saw some shots of the, the inside of Warlock after that hot shot fight. Every single belt, I believe, was melted into a single strand from a loop. Uh, so, wow. Yeah. I love that. What I love about the, the kind of like theory of safety, right? So you have events like Motorama where the theory of safety is like, hey, this is what our box can handle. This is what we can handle. Let's keep it as safe as possible. We're going to limit tip speeds. We're going to limit these things. Whereas you come to Norwalk and the idea is just build the box better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see them working on this spot now. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit of build the quality better. Sometimes it's increase the quantity. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is Chubby Unicorn. Chubby Unicorn trying to get it together. There's Tim. I like the shirt that says inhale, exhale. You know, he's got to. He's got to Did you do read it. the bottom? Oh, no, I didn't. What does it say? Inhale, in, exhale. In case uh -huh. of emergency, fart. Oh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess there's, uh, it's an option Looks for like some. Uh, roll a heavy-duty foil there, aluminum foil. That's the good stuff, you know? The stuff that your spatula won't just poke right through. I'm still laughing at that shirt. I was like, oh, it's so poetic. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look back at the glorious day that was here in Norwalk. Love seeing these early fights go down. Always the family bonding time. Sea Dragons roar, putting out some good fights. The most serious ref we have. It's true. He said to do a lot of counting to that. Just flipping that 45 pound bot a like it was 45 pounder, yeah, he's practicing taking it out of his bag like a suitcase. Full court, spanning nearly the full court of the arena. Such a fun duo there to see them match up. Aye. There's that Dutch oven. Yeah, Dutch oven, just super scary. The Oof. excitement, the thrill, the win. This guy knows what's up, right? Show up in a bright shirt, have a ton of energy, have a lot of fun. Look at these two guys, so happy they got their win. Look oh. at how clean Cage 2 looked. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone notice that? I was remember like, whoa. Remember when the cages looked that nice? Yeah, remember when the cages were nice and spiffy looking? Some more flame. Evan Arias. Some swag, some extra swag. Yeah, he's got all the swag. Aw, Queen B. Yeah, she had her glitter explosion just before she had that jumping celebration there. And then we saw a whole foam expo explosion. Yeah, Brandon Bennett Young being vicious today. Look at these guys from Team Duba. More explosions on the day. <laughs> The thrills continue. I love whenever it's just having a good time about it. 
love this. That 30 pound final. Oh, that was so nice. I could have kept watching that. That was nice. Thank you so delightful. much for putting that together, yeah. guys. What a delightful booth. little what a day and a half. We've had. Yeah, we are in a day and a half. <laughs> what time is it now? Let's see. It is 12.45 a.m. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Oh, sorry. I already said it. Say it out loud. It's 12.45 a.m. We still have two more fights to go. We got to clown our third, pound, or third uh, place championship as well as our grand champion for the three-pound beat weight division. Uh, is it going to be Voxel version one or Chubby Unicorn? Got any guesses? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I, I generally like the skinnier verts against the drum. Um, so. Why is that? What's the physical reason behind that? Oh, people are walking, people are moving, <sighs> things are happening. Come here they come. The pressure is on. Where are they going? What are they doing? That's Tim, he's heading over to the test box. He's gotta test it out first. He's gotta test the Chubby Unicorn. This is actually sure. one of the coolest things that you have to do. He doesn't have to test it technically before he comes out and fights with it, but he, since he's mashing two of his versions of his bot together, he probably should. Yeah. yeah well, probably... and if you have the time, I don't see why not. I don't see why you wouldn't work it into your system. Yeah, you definitely want to do this. It, it is only good for you. Um, if you find a problem, it kind of sucks because you have to fix it with the remaining time that you have, but uh, you'd rather find it in that little test box than in the arena. I love just showing off the sturdy construction of those text box, uh, test boxes, two double-layered, uh, you know, plywood walls holding. I mean, that was the in. quickest test we've ever seen. Hey, listen, he just had to make sure it drove, make sure everything worked. You know, he he just swapped out basically parts from one bot to another. I Do actually think it's cool that nobody else can see your bot while it's getting tested, really. Right, unless you're getting that down, that overhead view. Yeah. Yeah, like it's it's cool that you can't even like. I just thought of that. I was like, wait, he doesn't even. We don't even know what he did in there, but he did enough. Back to the table. I wonder if any work Quick is inspection. still left to be done here. Making, Making sure, sure everything's good. All those bolts are in and tight. All four wheels touch the ground at the same time. <laughs> this is the, the check I do before I drive, you know? In my car, I mean. Kicking the tires? Yeah, you just give the tires a little kick. Hopefully they're screwed on tight. Make sure all the bolts are still attached at the bottom of your car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to show a quick profile here on Hannah's favorite bot. I'm not sure uh -oh. what that is, but let's find out. I think I know. <laughs> Bugsby, perhaps? Bugsby is the burger bot. Do you know what you call this robot in the UK? Okay. It's a battle royale with cheese. <laughs> I didn't really think it was going to look like a burger when I originally designed it, but when I said it, that was encouraged online. It became a joke, and it was amazing. Bugsby goes off the concept of I'm a very bad driver, and I accept that. One thing I learned with Busy Bee is that I have to aim my weapon, and if I don't have to aim my weapon, then I can do a lot better. Bugsby is a shell spinner. The weapon is the entire body of the robot, and it means I don't have to aim. I can just get close to my opponent, and something will hit something, and it will be fun. Oh, there you go. Back at the pit. The life of Clyde getting it all together again. Hopefully that flamethrower does do some flame for the matchup against Beetlejuice. Batteries going in. Yeah, we're really getting down to the wire here. You can see it all go down. We've got... Testing that battery real quick. Just a couple left. Literally two fights left. Voxel V1 versus Chubby Unicorn for the final, and we have Clyde versus Beetlejuice for the bronze medal match. All four of those bots have qualified for the November final. So that relieves some pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say. <laughs> Both I'd of you? Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure In they unison. still want to win, but. Of course, but still. Still, I don't know. Yeah, yeah definitely. They're still trying to get a golden you dumpster a and $1,000, you know? That's not a bad way to end your day. No, it's true. But qualifying is definitely still a victory in and of itself. $1,000 seems, seems nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, not bad for a day and right a half now, worth of work. Yeah, for a day and a half. <laughs> right now, for $1,000, I think I'd go get 1,000 things off the, ha the dollar menu. Oh, there you go. Do they still have the dollar menu? I don't know, but it's just what I oh. feel. I, it's what I feel in my heart is the right move yeah. in this moment. Yeah, all I you buy know? from McDonald's is Happy Meals at this point, so I have no idea what the rest of the menu looks like. Oh, yeah, because you, you have children. I do, yeah. That's nah. all. I, and sometimes you don't have enough time for dinner, so Happy Meals save your literal life. Yeah, Happy Meals used to be, when I grew up, uh, Happy Meals were always like, oh, do you want a Happy Meal or do you want a Sad Meal? So it was really like, get it together. Oh, yeah. Behave yeah. if you want a new toy and some chicken nuggets. Let me tell you, there's a moment when you're, you're about to become a parent where you're like, I will never be that parent who's going to feed my children McDonald's, right? And then you become a parent. <laughs> And it's 6.30 p.m. and your entire day is completely off the rails and your children are starting to melt down and you have to get home and you, there's no way you can start making a dinner. And then you become a parent who buys McDonald's for your children. And then it happens sometimes twice in one week and you're like, what is going on with my <laughs> life? I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think I'm ever going to say that I'm going to be the parent that doesn't have fast food. Yeah. No, because I am not now. sometimes it's just... Sometimes you just got to do it. Sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes, sometimes you got to do it. And, and they love I the say that fries. as an adult, like not even with kids, like as an adult, it's like sometimes you're just on a long drive and you need a Slurpee. Sometimes you're on yeah. a long drive and it's a Sunday and your favorite fast food place is closed <laughs> and you don't know what else to do. So you got to go to another one. Uh, I mean, life, life hits you, you know? It does. It hits you hard. Well, how do we start talking about that? That was my fault. A thousand dollars. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't actually spend a thousand. I wouldn't spend it all. Champions look like they're on the move for that $1,000, though. They are on the go. Let's see well, if they're this coming looks like downstairs. We might be getting the third, the third place matchup here, and uh, that does look like the Voxel team and the Clyde team coming down. Getting ready for the championship bout. Oh, yeah. Following Ooh, the bot yeah. escort down. We're watching the whole walkthrough. We need the walk in out music. What do you think? What what song do you think goes with the bot vibe for them? Dun, 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 I was gonna say Final dun, dun, Countdown dun, dun. has yeah. to be it. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Maybe we can do, cut to do, Lindsay do, and she can sing some for do, us. Do, do, do. <laughs> Here they come. What is left of the audience is cheering them on. Only the hardcore, only the brave still only left here. Only the brave still left here. We <laughs> love to see it. We are thankful for our audience still in action here. There is Voxel V1 and Chubby Unicorn heading to the box. Voxel's back in black after shedding its aluminum skin. You know what I liked about the aluminum skin? They, they still left the branded logo on top visible. You got to. Those details, they're just so good. Clyde's getting ready to come down. Dad's for Clyde's sign. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, I love it. Dad's for Clyde. I wonder if those dads also hit up the dollar menu. <laughs> Clyde, another sign. Here come All Beetlejuice right. and this Clyde. This is our third place matchup. We got to say it three times to make it really happen, though. Is that, is that how you get them in the box? You say yes. their name three times? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. They're coming. They'll be here soon. Making their way safely down the stairs. That's good. No running down the stairs. Sometimes yes. you see these guys really hauling it down the stairs, and it always makes them very concerned. <laughs> You're running, fight. You're such a dad. running with scissors is bad. <laughs> running with combat robots is like 15 times worse. That's a good point. <laughs> They're just a good rush point. into that. Yeah, victory. can you imagine? Has that ever happened where someone like drops the bot before it even gets into the the game? Uh, no, I don't know if that has happened, but there have been things where like uh, screwing the top plate back on, they've like severed wires. Oh, oh yeah. Just putting the top plate on and they've like cut two of the lead wires to like their transceiver, the receiver. It's like, oh, well. Yeah, sometimes even the battery can get Completely nipped a little bit in that in process. There. Yeah, it's not good. All right, so let's go to the tail of the tape for this matchup. Woohoo! Clyde versus Beetlejuice. Look at how close those records are. 15 and 9, 14 and 7. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Clyde's a southern gal from Texas. <laughs> Ariel Smith and Kevin, they are a wonderful team. This bot has been getting better and better every single tournament. 
Right now they got to go up against a dustpan flamethrower in Clyde, the orange ghosts themselves. It all comes down to this. And just like that, the stands are nearly full again. I know, how funny. It's like the energy is here. I'm like, oh my gosh, where'd you guys go? Yeah, Welcome they all back. just popped right back in. They were like, everybody was uh, outside enjoying the food trucks maybe, trying to finish those up. Oh Coming yeah. back in after that. All right, we're almost ready here. All right. They're gonna shut these cage doors. The action will commence. Did Beetlejuice switch to titanium? No, that is just aluminum foil that all is, it's over aluminum their body. Foil. Aluminum foil tape all There's over There's a little there. bit of green left. And this is the uh, the horizontal wedge set up on Clyde. Really cool shape. I love that design, very space age. Driver's getting set. Everyone in their spots. Interesting. Is that a drive side issue on Clyde on that left side? It looks like it already. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Not a great way to start the fight. We just got to get into place. They look concerned. <laughs> look These the brothers look concerned. <laughs> the stress. <laughs> Looks like they have their it's configuration okay. for horizontals on. No, no forks on this one. Just the... Big face wedge. Yeah, big face wedge. Cool wedge. I love the shape of Eight, it. It all kind of seven, tapers down six, to the uh, to the flamethrower. Four, three, two, one. Fight. Gabriel Robots and fight. Alex, the two brothers behind Clyde, getting that flamethrower up and back down. That smoke petered out just like we saw in the last match. Drive side not working. This is not looking great for Clyde. The look of that mini bot is hysterical. Ooh, one hit. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was Beetlejuice launching themselves into the wall off of Clyde's wedge. Wow, Beetlejuice, I feel like is it's got a lot of control going on. Yes, a lot of pushback, a lot of kickback. Yeah, hard not to have some recoil with a weapon that powerful. That's really Clyde's best shot for winning this one at this point is... Oh, the minibot really coming in handy here, able to use the leverage to lift Clyde up and I'm put him off sure balance. I'm not sure Clyde's driving at all. I think that Clyde might be done. Are they able to... There's a little bit of movement there. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, Clyde that's tap. a tap that's out. That's Clyde. All right, so Gabriel Brown taps out with Clyde. They qualify for the November Finals. And they have achieved fourth place at this event. So that means they still get a $50 gift card to send Kassan. Ayo! That's not a bad way to be. That's 50 things off the dollar mic. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple new forks. Did you know that Sun Cut Send has a dollar menu? That's right. They will actually cut like a half an inch of the line for you for a dollar. Any material you want. A little replay action here. Oh, they didn't make it all the way, but they put up a good fight, that Clyde. They had a little Peter uh, out of their flamethrower at the beginning. They had a little bit of drive on the right-hand side at the beginning. And then after two hits, that was pretty much gone. So from this, we are going to go to our championship matchup. So after this, we're going to get the tail of the tape. Look at that. Oh, the brothers from Clyde. All right. Tail of the tape on our final two. The Chubby Unicorn up against Boxel. 17 and 10, 28 and 9. That Plum, Pennsylvania, is just a hot spot for fighting robots. It actually, it really is. It actually, you're, it's a great point. We've seen it con continuously. Oh, the fans are hype. I'm hype. I'm stoked for this final. All right, there's the Shores standing by with Voxel V1. Over the shoulder Voxel shot. Look at this ground. Look at what cage three looks like. It's really seen it all. I know. It's been on know. fire only 14 times. Okay, Let's here go. We go. This Ready? is going to be our final for the three pound fight. Eight, <laughs> Voxel. Seven, six, five, Countdown begins. Four, three, versus the Chubby two, Unicorn. One, five, Golden Ducks for $1,000 on the line. Here we go. We are off. Oh my 
my goodness. Debris already flying. Fight all the way down the voxel. Wow, oh, nice comeback for Voxel there. Big hit onto the side of Chubby Unicorn. Chubby Unicorn upside down, trying to get it back together. Chubby Unicorn managed to get back onto the right side. And Matt oh, had an aggressive belt. hit. On the floor there. Whose belt Who's is, is it? it? I still see a belt on Chubby Unicorn. Yeah. I think that might be Voxel. Oh, no, that's no good. If uh, Voxel's down, a belt. They are both moving so incredibly fast. Wow, Chubby Unicorn had a huge rebuild before this matchup, but they don't even look like it. This box is beautifully. Look at that hit. Keeping Voxel inverted. Voxel's only chance right now is to be a control bot and push Chubby Unicorn into the walls, but there's no way to catch them. Chubby Unicorn is all over the place. Beautiful hit on the side of Voxel. Voxel's durable. It's wow. Right against nice Chet. Pin. Nice pin there. Voxel is just, I mean, flipping, double dipping. It's pinned. It's grinded up against the wall, grinded up against Bert the Brick. And now they're stuck. They do have an unstick available to them. Will they take it? Here we go. Tim just looking calm, collected. Ready to spin up as soon as Voxel's unstuck. Yeah, absolutely. A We're little over a minute left in the match. Who is gonna get the W? Voxel's oh. free. All right, yeah, we're the shore's back. Shores yelling, hit it, trying to get their bot off the wall, and Chubby Unicorn all the Chubby way back. Chubby Unicorn up to doesn't take, waste any time. Boom, nice hit onto the back plate of Voxel. Voxel actually doing a great job flipping Chubby Unicorn back over, but now wow. itself, right? Chubby the Unicorn really knows. Underneath the rail, Voxel not able to That's move. it. Oh, this no. This might be it if Voxel can't get themselves free there. Out of on sticks. 35 on the clock. What is going to happen? The, the countdown has begun. Seven, six. Kyle, you predicted that one. Listen, <laughs> I am so happy for this team. That, they put in so much good work since starting at this competition. Excellent win. That was so phenomenal. I am so happy for them. Oh, Voxel really sent it, but <sighs> Chubby Unicorn, that consistency of the weapon. There was, there was absolute consistency all around the board there, really, in terms of speed, in terms of power, in terms of the weapon representing his team from Brandeis University. Brandeis Combat Robotics Club, Tim Hebert and Chubby Unicorn. Beautiful performance, strategic driving, consistent weapon. Going into the, this, the rest of this tournament, the rest of this season with a golden dumpster. A little bit richer as well. Yeah, thousand bucks definitely helps. Especially since they started the day with two chubby unicorns and ended the day with only one. It's not a bad idea having that thousand bucks. And look at the celebration from the team from Brandeis. Super excited. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. All right. So, Tim. 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 Let's see if we can get our winner over Tim, here. Get Hello, over here. friend. Tim. Wow. Put him right. Wow. That is, uh, that is wild to see. First of all, how are you feeling? How are you living? Tell us everything. Uh, I'm confused, I think. Confused? Yes. Why confused? It just doesn't feel real yet. Did you see this coming? Did you walk no. into the to the matchup? Did you wake up this morning and think, I smell victory? Absolutely I smell not. a golden dumpster. Definitely not, no. Well, how do you feel like your team really pulled it together and got you to this point? Uh, 
I, yeah, big shout out to my team over here. They were ripping other bots apart, trying to get me extra parts, making sure we get everything together. Uh, and I couldn't have done it without them. So big shout out to Dicey Robotics. Yeah, yes. Dicey. Oh, guys. You guys did a really excellent job taking advantage of the time that you had upstairs in the pit, using it for every ounce that you had. Uh, what was going through your mind in those moments? How did you really decide we're going to separate ourselves in this game? Uh, we had uh, a couple of choice members who had uh, particular skill sets that were excellent. Okay. And so we were able to use all the brain power of the team to, to pick which things to prioritize and get the job done. Oh my goodness. So how are you going to celebrate? I have no, I don't even, I'm, I haven't comprehended that. I, I know, I'm sorry. Yet. I have this, no hold on. idea. This we just happened. We know how to help you comprehend it. Tim, pick up that dumpster. Yes. Hold oh, it in so your hands. Heavy. Foist it above your head, please. Yeah. Hold it tight. <laughs> As actually, there's some medallions in this dumpster oh. that we're going to pass to our lovely friends who made it in the top four here. Uh-oh, I need a bit of help. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm not typically working with gold, guys. I'm not used to it. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to pass these out to our friends over here, our top four. All right, so come on up, guys. Come on up. Bring it on come in. Come on up, guys. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Guys. Come on up. Come on up. Don't be shy. Yeah, We're all friends and family come up on here. Stage. Voxel's not here. Voxel's not here. Voxel? We're Voxel's missing Voxel. Not here. We don't have them on stage right now. Okay, well, that's okay. We'll give them theirs a little bit later. The gold one is for Tubby Unicorn. Yes. Yes. And, we get some. and then we have one more over here. Yep. <laughs> Okay, great. Right. And I'm going to move out of the way so you guys can have your moment. How's everyone feeling? How's everyone living? Amazing. Oh, wait. I have to give you a microphone. I'm all tangled. Hold on. I can do this. Okay. There it is. Perfect. How are we living? How are we feeling? Oh, great. Yeah. Feeling great. Was not <laughs> expecting this at all. Yeah. <laughs> Phenomenal show. Oh, there Real we go. Today. Voxel. Okay. So what do you think is really next for you guys in terms of NHRL? Uh, it's a pretty awesome uh, finish in second in the biggest event uh, for beat weights in NHRL history. Um, first time in the single elimination, uh, single elimination tournament, so uh, it's been a long day. You guys did great, and uh, second's awesome, and qualified for uh, the finals. So, Absolutely. It's been so fun to see you guys. Any last words to all the winners? This is surreal. This is awesome. Uh, next time, we promise to have ignition that works all the time instead of half the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay. We will see you guys soon. Our next event, Kyle, you want to tell them? Yeah. So the next event is going to be in May. May the bots be with you. We're excited to see you guys there. Come on back and play. Thank you guys so much for joining us on the stream all day today and into tomorrow. And we'll yes. see you guys <laughs> next time. Everyone, enjoy your night. Thank you for hanging with us. We've had a fantastic night here. Fantastic day all around the board. Winners on winners. Everyone surprising us here, showing up and delivering. Again, we will see you guys back in May. I'm Hannah Ostapchuk. It's been a pleasure. I'm Kyle Kroos. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.